but Yudi, his girlfriend cheated, cheated on him while at work. So men get cheated on too, too. Like this chick. Men get like, cheated on too. She kind of does some stuff to me, and I don't know when you. Does what whatever. stuff to you? It's just like what's well to try so then. Yeah. Yeah, I overthink too much, and I've been. She calls you insecure. She calls you insecure, don't she? Like too much. Like, oh, okay. I know that. I know the way lane this is going on. I know the lane this is going down. We'll just call her Emily. Are you prepared for the possibility that she might fail this test? I'm prepared for it just because of what's happened and stuff. So like, there it goes. Our decoy Jarrett will be testing Emily's loyalty by hitting on her and asking her on a date. Will she remain loyal, or will she entertain Jarrett's advances? She tells me she wants to be with me and stuff, but like some of the stuff she does, like. Like, really, like, you tell her that? Bad. You tell her that? And she calls you insecure. That's how the story goes. Whoop, you know? This is her. She basically looks like the same right now. She's just wearing some uh, blue jeans right now and then the sweater, a black sweater. So that is her right there. Our plan was to divide this loyalty test into three phases. Phase one would begin at Emily's job across the street. We're here with Eric. He's left his car behind, and we're gonna start our reconnaissance. Thanks to Eric. What does that mean? What's reconnaissance? But to make sure that she wasn't on the break or anything, we sent in Leslie to do some reconnaissance. Our plan was very simple. Jarrett would walk into her job, pretend to be a customer, and then get her number. He would then begin communicating with her and eventually invite her over to his big house with his nice cars. V8 by Turbo, baby. <laughs> I think it should be reversed. I feel like you should ask for her Instagram first because I know she won't give her Instagram because I'd go through her Instagram. So she's going to say no to that. And then I feel like if you say her number, then she'll be like, okay, because then she could kind of hide it in a way. But reverse so psychology? What did she do when she was working? Did she like walk around or did she like just uh, stop stuff? Or? No, just, she's usually just in her section. Like today, she just works whatever shipment she got and then stocks it up. Just and stocks it up yeah. and that's it? And, and wherever she works, is there like... Is she usually secluded, or is there like is she like right in the middle of everybody? Uh, I mean, I guess if it gets full, then yeah, it's kind of like a little like. But it doesn't really get too full because it's not that big of a store, not too okay. many. Yeah. Now, the reason Eric wanted to pull this test specifically at Emily's job was because he's caught her doing some questionable things with her coworkers. So Drewski, that one Drewski skit. Talking to other guys. My friend that actually is working right now, he saw. For one guy, he saw that. She, he kissed her on the cheek, I think, and like she was cool with it and stuff. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude? No, or no, like no, she... a co-worker. Oh, a co-worker. Mm. Dang! And the other guy, his that girlfriend. That Drewski uh, skit is real then, dang! His girlfriend called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like kind of He made that shot. And then apparently at work, they also he didn't like, miss. kissed and stuff. And like, like, yeah. Oh, damn. So, one of your girlfriend's co-worker's girlfriend hate you up telling yeah. you, yo, this is what's happening. Yeah, because she's the one that saw the messages between them. I didn't know because obviously, like, she hides them and stuff. Like, oh, I, just, wow. I, never, I never, like, I guess, I never really checked through her phone until then. And when you caught her, like, doing this, what happened? Like, did you confront her about it? Did we would, you... like, talk about it and stuff. And, like, I don't know. Like, she, the way she would talk about it, it seemed like she kind of didn't care. No, did you tell her that? came into the store to, like, kind of confront the guy, too. Is like, she was just, like... I guess she didn't like really care if like I would stay with her. Or... Uh -huh. And other than that time, have you caught her anything with anything else and stuff? Or I mean, I like before like once when the relationship was barely new, she, like she would message uh, on Instagram and stuff, but like never like link up with nobody. It was just pure messages and stuff. But I mean, <laughs> look at this man just put his head down. Uh, on buddy, yeah, what are you doing, stuff, buddy? But, like, never like link up with nobody. It was just... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He just put his head. <laughs> her messages and stuff. But I mean, it's kind of hurt too, cause uh, I understand her like, I guess her side, cause her past boyfriend kind of like cheated on her and stuff. So like, I mean, I guess you could say there's trauma there too. So how long have you guys been dating him? Right now it's gonna be a little bit more than a year. So like, you really like this girl. You really want to be with this girl. I, mean, I honestly do. It's just that. I just want her to tell me stuff, like be open about her emotions and stuff, and like about just everything. I want nothing hidden between us, that's the thing. And then I just don't know what's going on in the store as well too, because like I don't know, I don't work there no more. Or she doesn't tell me stuff. So. Oh, so you guys used to work there together? Yeah, for a good while. But then I ended up leaving. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Is that how you met her? Like yeah, working there? Yeah. Okay. The reason I asked Eric if he really liked and wanted to be with this girl is because there are way too many red flags in this relationship. I mean, in this girl, she is kissing people, talking to people, deleting messages. It's too much. Personally, I would. Would have ended things a long time yeah. ago. I mean, the fact that yeah. this man has put up with this for a year, though, is crazy. I see that as an outsider looking in, though. Like, if I really were to put myself in his shoes and in his situation, who knows if I'd also be blinded by love? I want to say I wouldn't be, but who knows? Some people love too hard. That's a fact. That's a
a thing. That's a fact and a thing. So people love too hard. To understand her past and her trauma, but that's yeah, just part of her behavior. If she wants to do everything that she's doing, fine. Just stay single. But I mean, hey, who are we to judge? We're just here to help Eric find some peace of mind. How do you do? You think she's gonna pass, or you think she's gonna fail the test? I mean, I think things have been going a little good for a bit right now, so hopefully she does. Okay. I th I think she might pass, but if she does, it, yeah, yeah. it's like it's not like she hasn't hurt me already, so. <laughs> Hey, bro, that dude is numb to the pain, I guess. He's immune to it. He's immune to it. Used to. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Can we take a quick picture? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Well, thank you for I used to watching. I used to watch. If now I got older, and now I don't want you anymore. <laughs> Did she have something going on with her coworker and stuff? Or, like, was it just, like... Uh, that kiss on the cheek and like That's this texting. Thing. I feel like if she never would have got caught or whatever they would have told me, I don't know what could have led up to. Right. But like, I just don't want to be throwing too much business out there. Yeah, no, I feel it. I feel it. You just don't know what might have happened. I guess. Yeah. We've talked about stuff like probably like many times, and it's kind of like the same thing over and over again. It's just. I feel like kind of now she kind of gets it more, but it's still just kind of like yeah, the same stuff over and over Bro, we should just let it. it. Yeah. I can't force her on her because if she doesn't want to do it, she can just tell me. Yeah. Oh, I've given her the opportunity to say that to you. I've given her the opportunity to like have that conversation. Yeah, I've given her the opportunity to tell her like, do you want to be with me or not? She says she wants to, so okay. that's why you keep going through. Like, I know it's not something easy to say to someone you don't want to be with them, but right. I feel like she could do that. Oh, well. Yeah. She don't want to be with you, clearly. She then do other dudes kissing you on her on the cheek and whatnot? Touching other dudes? that but it's necessary it ain't cool to lead someone on and then tell them you really want to be with them when you don't know honestly it's either yeah you want to be with them or no you don't yeah this uncertainty in the middle does more harm than good yeah did you see her leslie i think i did yeah she works in that section you're feeling too cute man tell her how you feel so dairy section to the left she'll probably come out right now she's, she's the only girl there but yeah i think okay. probably her See, that's her. We're going, we're going, we're going oh, that's talking to her. Ooh, this is the customer. Ooh, dude, wait, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's kind of creepy. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's kind of creepy, but you know they gotta do what you gotta do to help people out. There's <laughs> <laughs> already a guy talking to her. <laughs> oh, <Damn. laughs> My job is done. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a customer though. So. Hey man, I don't know. He's kind of cute though. <laughs> hey, 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 Yudi. Hey, 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 with Jared now knowing where Emily was and what she looked like, he was now free to enter the store and get her number. Phase number one was Decor. officially in full swing. All righty, dude. So how confident are you that she's going to pass the test? I mean, as long as she just says she has a boyfriend and then okay. um, tells me about the situation. That's about it. Okay. Because, like, I mean, if someone comes up to her and just asks her questions and stuff, kind of like the guy was doing, like, I don't expect her to tell me that. Like, that's pointless. In the way. I just want, like, when someone's doing a little extra stuff. So that's why I'm like, oh, okay, for sure. Okay. Told him first to like kind of like shop yeah. around, make it seem all legit, and then he's gonna make his move. <laughs> Don't forget your talkies. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Around, getting a solid angle, but not following too close as to get caught. After pretending to shop around for a bit, Jarrett eventually makes his way to the dairy section of the store. <laughs> nice to know that you guys still there. <laughs> the guy who was talking to Emily was no longer there, but neither was Emily. There was absolutely no sign of her. It was crickets. The worst case scenario was happening. We had done our reconnaissance, yet somehow things still played out this way. My best guess was she was either in the bathroom taking a leak, in the back grabbing something, or worse, on a break. Thankfully, after waiting for some time though, she eventually returned. Okay. All right, she's back. She working in the dairy section? Here we go. This is it, dude. Excuse me. Hey. Excuse me, man. Can you advice on something, please? All right, so trying to cook like this big ass meal. What's the best thing over here? What would you get? Like peeps or anything? Or anything. Something? Like, what's your favorite? What, you, what would you go for? You cook? Okay, so if you was cooking, what would you have? 
Damn, it kind of sounds like she's like not giving him any conversation. Huh? Say what I okay. kind of good, so I mean, that's how she usually is. So. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> I know you ain't going to make ready to make fried rice. No, I said, like, I'm trying to go like all out like pasta, pasta, bread, chicken. Hell yeah, I'm black. Pasta, red, chicken, I'm black. He said, I'm what did he just say? Pasta, bread, chicken. Hell yeah, I'm black. <laughs> I'm black. It might just be me, but I don't really feel like Emily's giving Jerry too much conversation. This could have been due to stress, annoyance, or concentration in her job. Or, like Eric said, maybe she's just like that. A very quiet person. This it? Okay. I'm trying to go all out. Would you pair this with, like, some uh, wine or what? Yeah. Okay. Garlic bread. Help me out. Oh, now she's talking. Now she's talking. Now she's talking. Yeah, I know. Excuse me. I have a question. Damn, right when this test was really about to start and things were gonna get good, Emily gets pulled away by another customer. She said, just give me a second. I think someone else asked for help. Real quick. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back. Honestly, I felt like Jarrett was about to start cooking. Like I could see where he was taking this thing. And she was with it too. Like she was down to help him in everything. Like he was about to bag that number. You can help them real quick. I'll be back. Go ahead, okay. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. I'm gonna take a lap. Hey, this thing ain't over yet, though. Remember, for phase one, all Jarrett had to do was just get her number. Chicken Alfredo. I want this. Jarrett had to wait for a good one. You put it in a bag. Thing. You said you don't want it. Why you put it in a bag, then? It's funny. She used the same tactic that he used to talk to Emily. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> she just might be a little bit too busy in there, dude. Uh, oh, but I mean, the way she's kind of responding is just basic and boring. Which is oh, I like, thought there was another dude that asked her that. <laughs> I thought there was another dude that came up to her and started asking the same question. <laughs> The decoy not working, they had to get another one. An unsuspected decoy. Just the answer is simple. Like, mm -hmm. just, oh, that's good. That's, by, that's good by me. Like, it doesn't have to be like all extra and stuff. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Okay. So, essentially, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to put together this whole meal. I'm a Darren. You know, y'all remember Darren Williams? This dude and Darren Williams low key look alike. Okay. So essentially what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to put together this whole meal. The point guy used to play for the jazz and yeah. nets. Like liquor? Liquor. And mass. Lick. You got Hennessy? Yeah. Casamigos? Is that your favorite? I don't drink, but I see people, you know, posting Casamigos. Does, does Casamigos go good with some garlic bread? I think more I've drank with them before, so it's like a light one cup. That's about it. Damn, we should have told. We forgot. Like this. She smokes. Which one no. Would you drink no, she didn't smoke. Uh, hey, uh, you you supposed to be helping me out. Let's go. What's your name? I'm sorry. Jared. Nice to meet you. Jarrett had finally introduced himself to Emily, and I gotta say, everything up to this point sounded very professional. She also seems like a straight edge. I mean, she doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke. She might have a very good chance at passing this test. But hey, then again, just because you don't drink or smoke doesn't mean you're loyal. Hopefully, she is. But I'm just saying. Perfect. You say you don't drink? I don't drink, I'll drink juice. Just a little, but not too. Super that's lightweight. Fun. Super lightweight, I okay. I always say that. And then next thing you know, you three drinks in. I know how to drink. All right, all right, all right. So what, how about this? Which one would you drink with me? Stella. Huh? With Stella. With Stella. That's the one you're gonna drive with me? I never That's heard of that. Yeah, the black. Which one? Okay. That's it? Alright. So I got garlic bread, got some microwavable rice. So when we, we when we gonna eat this together? Bro, you play that song at every store? Nah, if you want to. The question here, or if she just ignored it, but she dodged that good. Well, I'm what was the question? She didn't hear the question. I ain't trying to get you sent this music in the background. Huh? That's a big waveable rice. So when we, we when we gonna eat this together? If you want to. Huh? Ah. She just ignored it, but she dodged Hold that on. good. Well, she got something. Off, but listen, I don't want to say thank you. I just want. All right. To is it serious? Yeah. Did I have a boyfriend? Oh. Grab, grab your number. Chief, I'm messing with you. Well, let me 
At Harbor Freight, we're committed to keeping our quality high. You talking about Harbor Freight? Are you you sponsored by Harbor Freight? I'm like, you sure? You take. All right. She passed. Damn. And so just like that, Emily turns down our decoy. She doesn't give out her number. She doesn't give out her IG. Wait we until she sees her car. Let's turn to a gold digger episode. Let's <laughs> turn to a gold digger episode. It's two and one. A loyalty test and a gold digging. <laughs> Bro, that would, be, that would be crazy. A two on one loyalty test and gold digging episode. That's crazy. Catching the gold diggers loyalty test. It's a two on one. She doesn't let us go into a phase two. Yikes. I'm going to put this stuff back. <laughs> I mean, that's good enough for me. It's just that I feel like, I don't know. I feel like if we would have done this in the beginning of our relationship, it probably would have been different. Different. I think she passed. All these dudes, uh, they uh, they keep looking at me, bro. <laughs> yeah. And she, she kept looking at them. I'm like, oh. She kept looking at what? Did she catch on? I don't know. I don't know. He, he said like something like she kept looking at. I don't, I, don't I don't know. Emily did pass, but it sounded like both Jarrett and Eric still showed some reservations. Like, wait, 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 what's going through your mind? What are you thinking? I mean, I don't know. No, I guess the only doubts I would have in my mind is like maybe he wasn't attractive enough for her. But I don't, I don't. he wasn't really her type. Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's so it sounds like you still almost like still don't really trust. Not trust her, but I still don't at the same time. There okay. Might be someone who she will find mm -hmm. more attractive. Yeah. But so I, it still sounds like you're like kind of like hesitant and not super yeah, trusting of her just yeah. yet. I just feel like it just has to be built more because like she's honestly like stuff she does she kind of like broke it already. But uh -huh. with stuff like this, with her telling me like stuff like oh, some guy came up to me, called me beautiful and stuff like. Were they telling me stuff like that and it kind of builds it back up. You know? yeah. Like I said, there's always gonna be kind of a doubt. But it's yeah. just less kind of now. Eric's reservations honestly make sense to me. Like this guy wanted to keep it going to a phase two. I don't think he wanted her to fail. I think he just wanted to keep it going to see how she acts with guys that she does consider quote unquote friends or homies. Which again, makes sense considering what she's done to him in the past. I'll be nice and put the stuff back. Now let's talk about Jared's reservations because this is where things take a twist. Before we get into it though, let's give this girl some credit. Like she did pass this test, didn't give out her number, gotta give credit where credit is due. With that out of the way though, Jarrett would tell us later that he felt like some male employees were giving him looks. Maybe this was just him being paranoid, but maybe it was true. Maybe just maybe when Emily was distracted or pulled away by the other customer, these guys tipped her off. Maybe these guys noticed Elias suspiciously always trailing Jarrett and they alerted Emily as a courtesy. Maybe they were just trying to look out for her like, hey, these guys are recording a video, be careful. Or maybe they alerted her out of jealousy. I mean, remember guys, the times that Eric caught Emily essentially cheating was with her coworkers. For one guy, he <laughs> kissed that Eric caught Emily essentially cheating. You about to lay about to lock you in? He about to they about to lock the camera in. I know what you're doing. Cheating was with her co-workers. It's turning to a regular show episode. Why are you talking to her? For one guy, he kissed her on the cheek, I think, and like she was cool with it. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude? No, or no, like no. A co-worker. Oh, a co-worker. Mm -hmm. The other guy, his girlfriend called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like kind of flirting and stuff. And then apparently at work, they also like kissed and stuff. I'm like, and yeah, stuff. Oh, damn. Uh oh. It's just a conspiracy theory. Don't let them go in their break. But looking back at the footage, after Emily helped those customers, she made direct eye contact with the camera multiple times. Something she hadn't done when initially just talking talking to Jared. So it was almost as if she knew it was there now. Either she spotted it or somebody told her. And the fact that Jared said that these guys were all staring at him and giving him looks and she was looking at them just makes me suspicious. Bro, these guys are, <laughs> they're not discreet at all. <laughs> like, look at them, they're both just like leave the store at the same time. <laughs> Wrapping up our test. Make Eric. it obvious. They just made it obvious. Okay, the decor is trash, bro. Y'all trash. Y'all y'all made it suspicious. He's talking about no, I feel they were looking at me. Yeah, it's suspicious, bro. You have a dude with the shopping cart walking behind you the whole time. And with the camera. You gotta like finesse it, bro. You gotta have like, like some walkie talkie. Maybe some not a walkie talkie, but like a mic. I know y'all already got the mic, maybe. I don't know. Put it, you see, you gotta hide the camera basically. I know it's hard to hide because it's on top of a, a store cart and you're in the store, but still, you gotta hide it somehow, some way. When the um girl can't see it, interesting text. Wait, hold on. I mean, that's all I could ask for, man. Honestly, for right, for right now, she just texted you literally. Yeah. 
Oh, so a guy complimented me just letting you know. That's all I can ask for. Right? He's like, uh, I can't. I was like, oh, she was speaking to yeah. me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. She almost folded. Her, her texting you like that, though, is that normal? This is what we talked about literally like Thursday, Friday. Like, uh -huh. I want stuff like this, and I guess this is the first time she's done it. Okay. Yeah, so, but I mean, the thing though is like, it's, it's conversations that we've had like long ago, so like, I don't know why it, ha it took so long just to like, for it to happen now? Yeah. Throughout the whole relationship, I've never, like, even though she's done that stuff, I've never, like, stopped liking her in a way. Like, mm. I think I'm really in deep for her and stuff. It's just, like, I guess it's stuff that hurts, but it's just more, like, affected, like, my trust for her. Maybe she don't like black guys. I don't know. <laughs> Girl, you, you're not black. <laughs> you're not black. Affected, like, my trust for her. Maybe she don't you're like not black. Like black guys. I don't know. You're not black. <laughs> Dude, I hate to sound like this, but honestly, Emily sending Eric that text makes me even more suspicious. How? And I hate to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I can't help but think that she's trying to save face or look good. She called Oh. Oh, Yudi. Oh. There's only four minutes left. Yeah, what you gonna do, Yudi? There's only four minutes left in the video. What you gonna oh, do? Just tipped off. While well, you guys are out, it was kinda funny though. Man, and then she walked away, I'm like, Shit. I gotta like take a lap, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But honestly, at the end of the day, though, this is all our fault. Like, we should have approached this test differently. Yeah. We should have ensured Eric a deeper test with a one-on-one, -on -one alone conversation with our decoy. No distractions. Like y'all usually no do. Y'all yeah, usually do, but I like how y'all try to switch it up, though. No customers, no coworkers. This one was for sure on us. We were just too ambitious with it. Do you think your trust will ever fully come back for her? I mean, as long as she keeps doing, like, good like this, I don't see why there's stuff that I got to doubt for. Okay. Yeah. Well... Yes. Show her the video. trust gone up plus five plus five trust and I'm sure every guy who hits on her she's gonna think <laughs> it's a test I don't even <laughs> <laughs> every guy who walks up to her now and compliments her she's gonna be like where's the camera <laughs> where's, where's, where's Eric <laughs> where's, the where's the camera where's the camera <laughs> it, well, when I came over another couple came and they were like um they were asking her for stuff, so it like interrupted while I was trying to talk yeah. to her. Yeah. And then I had to like get back in character. But I mean it was it was cool, man. What is it that you said towards the end? I think she was looking at the Oh, oh, the guy workers. Like they like they were like they kept glancing at me. And so I'm like It's cause you're flashy, so I don't know. But they kept look they kept looking at me, she would look at them, so I it's kinda awkward a little bit. What guy worker was it? The, uh it was like two guys. One had a hat backwards, I think it was. Then a light skinned dude. But um, but no, I almost got, I almost got it. You, yeah, man, you're lucky. That's good. Yeah. 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 No, but I, I was telling him though, like, I just feel like if this energy would have been th towards the beginning of the relationship, it would have been way better. But, I mean, it's cool. Like, it feels I, good to know, like. Yeah. And do you think she's gonna let you know about this? Yeah, she did already. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 She texted him. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> so God complimenting, just letting you know. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see the Benz though, so you know. That's what I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I said. Bring her outside. Try to find a way to bring her outside. She see the car and see what. See if she still stay loyal. Go dig her. She says two and one. <laughs> Come on, man. Part two with the Benz. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Regardless of our reservations and how overly ambitious this test was, I am still glad that Emily passed. Yeah, our test is already over, but Emily did the best thing she could possibly do, which is not give out her number or her Instagram. Okay. I wish I could wish these two know them of the best, but unfortunately, they broke up. What's up, Gary? It's Sergio. You, D, checking in. How are you? Where's your girl? Hi, hey, what's up, Sergio? Really dope. See you. Loving the vids. Bangers. Will me and her finish? Much love. I hope you... I want it best for her. Hope you doing good. Yep. They didn't break up because of this test. They broke up because Emily cheated. Again. Hey man, just focus on yourself, man. Focus on yourself. There's a million, a thousand, gazillion. I don't even know how many women are on this earth, but there's a lot of them. More than you can count. Ah, go figure. More, more than you know, what I'm saying more numbers than you know. Two, two guy friends that work there, and they always kind of like kept an eye out for stuff. They would tell me like, "Oh, she's doing this, or she's doing that." So I guess when we're doing the video, right? My friend said he saw one of the coworkers with her, like doing some stuff. 
I, I ended up getting mad too, and then I ended up going to the store. I was honestly gonna kick his ass, but then I thought about it. I was like, bro, because that was the. <laughs> Hold on, what happened? Fight, 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 fight. Test. They broke up because Emily cheated again. Yeah, go figure. I have two. Have two, two guy friends, friends at work there. Okay, for stuff. Okay. They would tell, they would tell you like, what oh, she was doing. Basically stalking her for you. Okay. So I guess when we're doing the video, right? My friend said. Oh, only the friend said it. One of the coworkers with her. Like, oh. Doing some stuff. And I ended up getting mad too, and then I ended up going to the store. I was honestly gonna kick his ass, but then I thought about it. I was like, bro, because it that was. Because that fool's a. <laughs> the first thing he said when I caught him was like, "Get out of here! I'm gonna call the cops." I'm gonna call the cops. Get out of here. I'm like, bro, I'm not sure if she kept. Doing stuff with that guy, but then there was this other fool that worked there too. That I thought we were cool, but he ended up like I guess talking shit on my back and stuff, like saying like, "Oh, why are you with that guy? You deserve better." And stuff. And I was like, "Bro, this was like this was a bum." She, she would always tell me, "Like, oh, don't worry about him." Like you know how girls are, they say, "Don't worry about him. He's nothing." And then they end up doing some stuff, like. But then to top it off, after yeah, that, I think he'd be coloring with you and be texting a whole nother dude. Dude, hey like, man, just focus on yourself, bro. Okay, I am not gonna throw too much business out there. I think you guys get the point. Yep. Like I said from the very beginning, if this girl wants to be doing all of this and talking to other guys or whatever, that's fine. Just stay single. She's obviously pretty and stuff. Obviously, other guys try getting at her, but it's like it's on her to like obviously not entertain them and stuff. Hey, shout out to the dude. I forgot your name. Shout out to you. Like I said, it's more women in this world than you, you, the numbers that you know. You know what I'm saying? More than you can count. Hey, there's like, the number is something that hasn't even been invented yet. That's how many women is in this earth. And focus on yourself. The number, the number of women on this earth is beyond your imagination. So focus on yourself.